for plugging in the Carly adapter into the OBD2 port. He has an on off switch right there. So make sure you press that and it'll turn on a red LED light. You turn on the ignition. Do not start the car. If you will be connected or be playing with the scanner for an extended period of time, it's a good idea to connect a secondary power source under the hood uh, where you have the positive and uh, negative terminals over there. Otherwise you're gonna drain the battery. The next thing you need to do is go to your settings on your phone. Turn on your Bluetooth. Now um, here you normally hit search and uh, you'll find a new device that will be called Carly Doctor. You click on it, enter the password 1234 and that's it. You're paired with the device. So next thing you need to do is go back, go to the Play Store and search for Carly for BMW. Now this is the light version or the free version um, but you won't be able to do a battery registration with that. So you need Carly for BMW Pro. And this is at the moment this is a $60 app. So I will have already purchased and installed it. So let's go ahead and open it. And we'll hear show never again, even though we we'll keep pressing it every time, it still shows that warning. Now the first thing that you need to do is select your vehicle and down here at the bottom. Um, this is the E60. So let's go to 5 series E60 and do all. And next select the model year. Hit OK. Uh, next, we need to press connect and make sure that the phone is connected to the adapter. Select Bluetooth connect. Searching for Bluetooth, it says uh, connected to adapter OK. And there's an up update available, we're going to do that at a later time. Let's just connect to the car and look at the battery registration. Here, right here, is when you see all these dots down here, that means that everything is good. Uh, the, the car adapter is communicating with a uh, control mu uh, module on your BMW, so it's all good. Just give it a second here. And there we go. Okay, go. Now the next thing is you want to go to uh, battery. It's recommended that you run a diagnostic first and look at all the codes and make sure that there is no uh, codes for the power module or CAS. Um, next we go to battery and you also need to purchase the unlock the battery registration which is an additional purchase um, and that's the one thing to keep in mind when you purchase a Carly adapter they're not are you gonna buy the adapter but then you have to buy the uh, pro version of the app and then if you were trying to do a few extra things like battery registration which is most likely one of the things that you're gonna use this for um, it's another you know 10 to 15 dollar purchase and that's in euros there so continue to battery registration scroll down press OK and here you have two options. You can register the same battery types with the same capacity. And if you're not changing battery types, like going from lead acid to AGM or the other way around, so go with uh, register same battery type. Um, this is going to read the current battery type, and then you can just go ahead and now let's go back and look at register other battery type. So here you can change battery type and also capacity. So let's look at capacity, it says 110 and that's lead acid battery because it doesn't have AGM so if you're switching from one to another, let's say you're going to a 90 AGM battery, you have to select that. So right there you, you, you changed not only the capacity of the battery but also the type because we went from a lead acid, uh, 110, we were right here, we went to a 90 AGM so we just changed two things and then uh, yeah, press uh, change battery type and capacity and that's